Hi Taurus, this is Born with a Veil, and this is July the 1st, and it's after midnight, and I thought that I would do, this is for individuals, this is not for couples, not for people dating, this is for a Taurus that you could be by yourself, living at home, single, doesn't matter. I just want to express, since I'm a Taurus, full-blown Taurus, um, I'm a Taurus. My birthday was in May, and I'm also an Aries. So um, I love doing Taurus. I get a lot of hits on Taurus, Aries, uh, Cancer. Um, I love doing Cancer also, but my favorite is Taurus, and it's not because I'm Taurus. Um, there's just a lot of Taurus people out there, and you might have Taurus in your sun, moon, or rising. So I'd like to do something a little bit different to see exactly what the hell we're going through. Now, we are in retrograde. It's a total bitch, okay? Forget my language, but I'm very down-to-earth, and I'm very outspoken, and I say how I feel. But I will tell you this, that us as Tauruses, sometimes we get mistreated, abused mentally and physically. Um, you get put down. Uh, people don't understand us. Um, people think that when you're in a relationship with them, you're supposed to do everything for them, cater to them, bow down. That's not true. You know, I don't think a lot of other signs know exactly who we are and what we do. We're very loving and kind people. We're very stubborn. But when we spot a bullshitter, we spot a bullshitter. When we see a player, we see a player. People don't know what a player is. When they see other people, when they're trying to play on your emotions, uh, when they're trying to use you for their benefit, we seek that shit out. We know. Um, some of us handle it different, and then some of us just, they'll cuss you out and keep it moving. Um, Tauruses give the people a benefit of a doubt. Uh, we're very kindred souls. We're very kind. Um, we could be a total bitch, too. Um, it depends on how a person comes off on us. Uh, we Sometimes we could put up with a lot of bullshit, and then other times we can't. And then we put up with so much bullshit that when that person pushes the wrong button, we totally just go the fuck off. Um, and I'm speaking for all us Tauruses. We love money. That's just who we are. We love material things. That's just who we are. We love um, beauty around us. Um we work hard, we play hard, we love hard, um, our sex game is on point, um, and really a Taurus is good with a Pisces, Taurus is good with a Pisces and a Virgo water sign, um, water kind of balances Taurus out, and since Taurus is earth, they kind of balance the water out a little bit, um, so I'm going to look in the cards. I pre-shuffled. Hope you guys don't mind that because I've done some videos where I do show you what I do. So Taurus, let's get on. Let me see what's going on with us in the month of July. And this is permanent too. Whenever you see this, I'm not going to put a stamp on it, okay? Um, we got the Queen of Wands reversed. And we got the Judgment card facing us and the Strength card. We're very strong. Like I say, we put up with a lot of bullshit. Uh, we do have control over situations a lot of times. Um, sometimes we need to forgive ourselves and forgive other people because we do hold grudges. Uh, then you got the um, Queen of Wands. Tauruses can be very jealous. A lot of us, some Tauruses can be very deceitful too. Um, I will tell you that Taurus, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, Taurus um, will cheat on you if they find out that you're cheating on them. Um, they're just going to keep it moving. You know, um, Tauruses love to be in a relationship uh, when it's pure, when it's simple, um, when it's genuine. Um, like I said, we don't like to be used. And um, other signs should really know that. Um Tauruses won't cheat on you, though, if they really love you and they care for you and you do right by them. Tauruses will not cheat on you, but if you do the wrong thing and they find out about it, 
they're going to leave you high and dry. They'll leave you and state of themselves are going to something new. I will tell you this. Tauruses are getting ready to leave a lot of people. Tauruses, like I'm telling you, Tauruses are sick of the dumb shit. They're sick of it. Um, and it really don't matter what sign you are. But the sun is coming out for Taurus. The sun is coming out for Taurus after everything that you've been through, mentally, physically. Uh, people um, judging you all the time. Um, the Knight of Coins, uh, Taurus is going to keep moving. Um, you got, like I say, you you've got a person or all kind of people coming in Taurus. Um, Tauruses are very sensual, very sexy. Um, they're built like a Taurus um, around the the shoulders. They're very broad shoulder, um, and they have a thick, full neck. And you could tell, you could spot a Taurus, short and stocky. Um, a lot of the women um, are like me. I'm short and stocky, thick, so I fit my sign perfectly. But Taurus is going in the unknown. They're they're going to keep going. Okay. Um, also, Tauruses are very well organized and they're very persistent in what they want. Uh, you got the Seven of Wands and the Lovers. Um, Tauruses, a lot of times, are very successful. Um, when there's obstacles in our way, your way, you clear them. Okay. Um, a lot of people like to try us as Tauruses, but we always come out winning a lot of the times. The lovers, um, you know, a lot of Tauruses are getting ready to leave a situation because it's a bunch of bullshit, okay? Um, Tauruses can't stand when they do everything in a relationship and the other one is not helping at all. That's a big turnoff to a Taurus. You get tired. You get frustrated. Um, not only are the cards saying certain things to me, I'm putting my psychic ability into it too. And since I'm a Taurus, who knows better? Um, the death card. Um, Tauruses, you're just getting ready to sweep a lot of bullshit away. You're making a rough change. You're just getting rid of people, period. Um, lovers, um, people that you do or you, you do care for, you do, you love, maybe in a different kind of way. Taurus is getting ready to... You sweep a clean house. Seriously. Uh, you know it, Taurus. Uh, the temperance. Um, a lot of times people don't understand us, and that's where the conflict of interest comes in. Tauruses have a hard time working with other people. And because once we're used to doing something, once we're shown a job, we like to be left the hell alone. We don't need somebody breathing down our neck to tell us, you know, what we need to do, we get it. We're not like other people. We get it. Um, Tauruses are very much a loner. And a lot of times we don't understand people. We're like, what the fuck? And then you got the four of wands. Very Tauruses are very romantic. They want harmony. They really do. And they want peace and tranquility. But sometimes people will not let you have that, that peace and that tranquility, Taurus. Um... You got the Ace of Cups reversed, the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Four reversed. Big changes coming for Taurus. Absolutely good changes. Um, but you have to stay consistent in it when it does come. The Eight of Swords. Please watch your driving, Taurus. Please watch your driving. If you speed, bring it down, all the way down. Okay? Don't make right turns when you're supposed to make left. Vice versa. Don't things don't do things when you're driving that you're not supposed to be doing, okay? Seriously. You got the fool. A lot of people think we're a fool, but we're not. Okay? A lot of times Tauruses make bad choices, make bad decisions. You guys know it. Anybody that's a that's a Taurus, we hesitate a lot. Um Tauruses can be shy too to a certain point. It depends on what you're doing to make a Taurus shy. Um You've got the Six of Cups facing me, Seven of Cups reversed, and the King of Coins. You don't mind sharing. You don't mind sharing. Um, I will tell you this. Now, I'm giving you the card interpretation, and I'm giving you my interpretation. So look at the card and say, well, the card don't say that. No, because I'm giving my interpretation. Uh, we're very caring and sharing. Um, I think a lot of us go to our childhood and think back when we were little, whether it was good or bad, about certain stuff. My childhood was great. 
okay? Um, once we have really fond memories, Taurus, you know that, we latch on to them, we hold on to them. It's hard for us to let shit go, okay? Um, Seven of Cups. There will be a resolution uh, coming in your life with another person or with yourself. Tauruses are very strong, okay? And you love to meet goals. You got the king of coins. We are leaders. We are not followers. So other signs got to understand that. We don't follow very well. Um, we're very business oriented. Um, we are good friends until you piss us off. And then if you piss us off, you can go to hell. Uh, we're very li reliable also. Okay. Um, I've got the Eight of Wands reversed and the Seven of Swords facing me. So the Seven of Swords, I'm giving you my interpretation. We hide out a lot. We let the bullshit stay out in the street. We don't like it in our houses. We don't want to be bothered, okay? Once we put our keys in the doors, that's it. Um, like I say, people are jealous of us. We're jealous of them. There's a lot of jealousy around us, Taurus. People love to harass us. People love to argue and fight with us. I don't give a shit. Family, friends, whoever. Uh, there's a lot of domestic quarrels. A lot of domestic violence with Taurus. Especially if Taurus is with another Taurus. Oof. That's a fucked up combination. Um, then you've got the Five of Swords facing me. Um... The King of Wands reversed and then the Queen of Coins reversed. Five of Wands. Taurus, aren't we tired? We're just tired, period. You know, uh, we don't get enough sleep. People, Some people won't let us sleep. Um, you're just tired of trying to support people that don't support us. You know? We're tired of the bullshit in relationships. Tauruses are very sentimental. The King of Wands. Um... I will tell you that some of the male Tauruses are very dogmatic. Uh, some are very abusive mentally and physically. Not all. So don't take this wrong. And it doesn't matter what color you are. A lot of Tauruses, when two Tauruses are together, I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> you could actually kill each other. That's how bad it is. Um, a lot of male Tauruses take shit to the extreme. So does females. If you push them there. But a lot of male Tauruses, they take shit to the extremes. Not all. So don't take it personally. Queen of Coins. And it all has to do with your raising, Taurus. Especially if you're male and female. It's the way you were raised. If you were raised in a household that was full of violence and a lot of arguing and fighting, you're going to think it's okay to do that to the next person. If you were raised in a house full of love, and really, you never saw your parents argue like myself. I never seen my parents argue growing up as a kid in the 60s, you know. We didn't see shit like that. Um, everything was hush-hush behind closed doors. I came from a very loving family. Um, so it's kind of hard when you're with a person that could be a tourist and they come up for what a messed up um, background. You know, when you got two people, one was in a their family was abusive and then the other family was very loving and you put them together that shit is awful to deal with it's very awful to deal with Taurus you know what I'm talking about if you go through it um then you got the three of wands facing me uh the nine of, nine of coins reversed and then you got the uh five of wands so Taurus what we're going through is um a lot of you um have your own business some of you are um YouTube, like myself, um, or Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Um, a lot of you have your own businesses from home. Some of you are working from home now, dealing with people in and out of state or in and out of cities, okay? Um, and you love to stay busy. Um, you got the nine of coins. We do have to watch our safety because um, depending on the person that you're with, they could be... Um, a safety hazard. Um, if you're with someone with another Taurus, they're a time bomb waiting to happen. Uh, if you're with someone that is very abusive, very controlling, um, this is where your threat to safety comes in, okay? Um, and then you have the five of wands. Um, there's trickery all around us, Taurus. A lot of 
a lot of trickery. Um, if you're dealing with somebody that is sneaky and um, think that you don't know, you know, we could pick out a sneaky person when we see one. We know, but we try to ignore it because we don't want to face it. But we know who's sneaky, if it's our mate or not, or a liar. Uh, you got the Queen of Cups. Um, this is this is myself, the Queen of Cups. I have the gift of vision. I'm pretty sure a lot of you are empath, clairvoyance, medium, or you um, have an intuition of what goes on around you. Um, you are so a good friend. Um, then you got the Four of Coins. We love money. That's never going to change. No, love doesn't bring happiness. Money doesn't bring happiness. Love does. But I don't give a damn who tells you what, Taurus. Money pays the bills. You won't be too happy if you can't pay your bills and you don't have a job. So I don't listen to that bull crap. <coughs> Excuse me. Money does make you happy to a certain extent because you have to pay your bills and it can get you what you need. Okay? A lot of people think we're greedy. A lot of people think that's all we think about is money. But that's too bad because that's who we are. Okay, everybody represents their own sign. Um, then you got the Ten of Coins. Um, we love um, games of chance. Some of us like to go to casino. Some of us like to play three digit, four digit, whatever. Float your boat. Um, and then you have uh, the Ace of Swords and the Three of Coins. <sighs> Sometimes life can be a disaster. Sometimes we self destruct ourselves. We do have very bad tempers, some worse than others. Um, sometimes we're with people that cheat a lot, or we cheat, because we're tired of the bullshit. You got the three of coins. Um, we're very good at working. Um, we're very good at making money. We're a mastery. Whatever job we're given, we do it very well. So I'm just giving you a little bit of how I'm feeling as a Taurus, and I'm pretty sure you're feeling because we're in retrograde. These will be the last cards here. Five of coins. Um, we're going to be turning our backs on people in their bullshit. Uh, some people um, will be divorcing because there's no love in that marriage. Um, they're sick of the bullshit. They're sick of the abuse. Some of you are sick of arguing, sick of fighting. You can even live together. You're just tired of it. And then you've got the Ten of Wands. Taurus is overburdened with problems within a relationship or whatever's going on in your life. There's a lot of pressure. And people that fuck with us um, wonder why we explode. Because when a Taurus is under pressure, we don't like that yip, 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 yip. We don't want to hear that crap. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to hear it. So if you're dealing with a Taurus and you ain't never dealing with a, dealt with a Taurus, listen to what I'm saying as a Taurus. you got the Page of Swords and the Ace of Coins. Universe is going to give us what we need. Universe always gives us Taurus is what we need. Then the Page of Swords. There's somebody that's an imposter around us, Taurus. Uh, they will be revealed. Um, right now, they don't think that we can see them unforeseen. But some of us already know who we're dealing with, what we're dealing with. Um, Tauruses have to watch so we don't get sick. you got to watch your thyroid, entertainment purposes only. Um, some of you that haven't had your tonsils out, you're going to have to have them taken out. Uh, we're never really prepared for a whole lot. We're really never prepared for a whole lot, um, Taurus. Things hit us sideways sometimes in life, but we get right back up and we keep doing what we do, what we do best. Um, I will tell you this, that there's going to be a lot of changes with us, especially July, August, the rest of the summer. A lot of tourists will be moving. Um, you know, uh, Sylvia Brown predicted in her book in 2020 that a lot of people are not going to be getting married anymore. Um, they're just going to live together. There's going to be a lot of that going on. Uh, she also predicted in 2050 that is so weird that I read that tonight, that 2050, um, a lot of people are going to be living in communities where there is going to be four women to every man and three men to every woman, to every woman. Um, people are going to start having outside relationships. It's going to be the thing of the future. Well, people already cheat now, but the thing is, it's not going to be called cheating in 2050. Um, it's going to be natural. That's what people are going to do. 
um, and you're going to be having, men are going to be having children with these women. And, you know, like now people get mad for cheating and this and that. But like Sylvia Brown said, in 2050, nobody's going to be mad. It's going to be the way of the world. It's going to be the way of the world. So there's some other things I read, and I'll bring that up in the next video. But uh, God love you, uh, Taurus. Like I say, I'm a Taurus. And um, I think Tauruses are great people. Just don't push us to the limit. You want us to be truthful? You be truthful. Okay? So this is Born with a Veil. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm not going to put a stamp date on this at all. I'm just telling you I made this video July 1st, 2020. And whenever you see this video, that's when you see it. If it resonates with you, fine. If it doesn't, watch my other videos. It's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? So God bless you. Happy um, 4th of July coming up this weekend. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Um, and just have a great week and a great weekend. God love you. God bless.